Welcome back to part five of our live training session here with our K24 swapped Civic SI. In this training module, we're going to be taking a look at how to dial in our low cam full throttle tuning. So this is going to be looking at variable cam control, fuel, spark timing, and setting up our knock control all in low cam or non VTEC operation with our Honda K series engine using our MJON KV8 box. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Welcome back to our live training session here with our K24 Swap Civic SI. This training module, we're going to jump into taking a look at how to dial in our full throttle tuning on our low cam or non VTEC of operation here on our K series engine. We're going to learn how we can dial our fuel, spark, variable cam control, and personal under knock control with our MTRON system here and get everything sorted out for low cam. So at this point, we've set up our idle control, we've set up our part throttle cruise. This will be the next phase of our tuning and calibration process on low cam. The next tutorial we're going to focus on switching over to high cam and calibrating that, but we need to take things in segments or steps so that we do the calibration process correctly here. So what we're going to first talk about in our tutorial here is where we're at and what we're going to try to accomplish here doing our tuning. There are some specific things I want to point out and then we'll move in to setting up our mainline chassis dyno and then we're going to move into just doing our pools and going through the calibration process. Now I have a very specific way that I like to map out variable cam engines in terms of tuning and working with the VE table and I'll talk about that in a little bit here. But let's jump into our table and we have right open on our screen, this is the main VE table and let's discuss what we have going on with this and what we're going to actually try to do here in the tutorial. So what we're going to find is the last tutorial, we focused on dialing everything in from essentially 80% efficiency and below. So between roughly 30 to 80, this is going to be our part throttle cruise area. Anything above this is what I'm going to consider to be high load, wide open throttle type of tuning. So 85% efficiency and above. This is going to be what we have to go in and sort out for this tutorial. So we don't know if these volumetric efficiency values are correctly expressing the airflow estimation of airflow coming into our engine. We're going to rely on our closed loop lambda control to have feedback adjustments to essentially outline and point out what the air is in our airflow model and essentially how much we need to edit our volumetric efficiency values by. We relied on that in the last tutorial. We're going to do the exact same process here in this tutorial. Now the beginning of our tutorial here and we're going to talk about variable cam control here in just a second. We're going to have our variable cam control zeroed out and we're going to dial in our volumetric efficiency values here with our variable cam control fully zeroed at wide open throttle. Then we're going to start to experiment by walking in the variable cam control, sort that out and we're going to do a quick composite blend with the variable cam control. Then we're going to take a look at dialing in the spark timing and looking at our knock control and then setting all the knock threshold tables up so that it's going to detect actual knock and filter out the noise coming from our engine here. So there's a very specific way we want to do this and we need to establish some form of a baseline dialing in our VE table and which is why we're going to be doing this with zero degree variable cam angle. So main VE table one here, this is going to be associated to low cam. We know if we take a look here, main VE table two, that's going to be high cam. That's next tutorial. So we're going to be sorting out, dialing in here, everything above 85% efficiency and getting these VE values correct. Now let's talk about our variable cam timing. So I'll use my escape key here and navigate across the screen under engine functions. If we move down to VVT cam control and we move in here to our targets, we have two target tables. We have target table one and two. Target table one is going to be our low cam variable cam target table. Now notice as mentioned before, eight uh, from 100 and above here. And let's actually change the resolution just a little bit more on this. Let's go to our Y axis. And I'm going to add a break point here. Let's just say at 70 and I'll do one here at 90. That'll give us a little bit more resolution here. So we're going to go ahead in this case from uh, 90 and above, this is going to be what we consider or what we're going to find at atmospheric pressure, uh, uh, sea level conditions when we're at full throttle conditions. We're going to be in this range right here of the table. I purposely want to make sure this is zeroed out so that we can start off with kind of that baseline, getting our volumetric efficiency table dialed in with the variable cam being at zero. When we start to optimize the variable cam and we start to sort out what variable cam targets give us more torque increase and a broader torque band, that is going to have more cylinder filling, more airflow coming into the engine as we introduce more overlap and more advance going from zero to something like 10, 20, 30. So we're going to go in and figure that out here on the dyno. Now we are going to watch the power differences and the power band gains on the dyno 
we can also then see what the variable cam control influence is going to have on our fueling. And we'll find that as we have positive changes in the variable cam, as we start to advance the variable cam, we'll find that we need to add more fuel, which is going to essentially require us to increase our VE values, telling the MTRON we have more airflow coming into the engine, which we will when we have our variable cam increases. So we're going to be watching as we baseline everything at zero degrees, full throttle, sort out the VE values, get that dialed in, then we'll map out variable cam here, start to go from 0, 10, 20, 30. We'll look at the changes on the dyno so we can see what that looks like. We'll also watch what the fueling demands are going to be. Once we have a cam composite blend, we'll touch up the V table, and then we'll finally move into spark timing and start to dial that in and uh, kind of keep that process going. Now, let's talk about spark timing here. So if you use our escape key. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.